Hi, I'm Charlie Tuna, and welcome to the National Music Survey. Over the next three hours, we'll count down the 25 biggest hits of this week, the week ending November 29, 1986, as reported by Radio and Records. Along the way to number one, we'll meet Bruce Hornsby, Carly Simon, Kenny Rogers, Rick Ocasek, Howard Hewitt, and Peter Cetera. Plus, we'll present a special profile of the divine Miss M herself, Bette Midler. I love to cross my eyes and kick up my heels. I like that. But before we get to Pet Midler and the rest of our survey, let me strongly advise you to have a pencil and paper handy, because in a few minutes, we're going to tell you how you can win a Polaroid Sun 600 LMS instant camera for the holidays from Polaroid and the National Music Survey. And if that's not enough, and it's not, we're going to also tell you how you can win a trip to London this coming New Year's week, courtesy of your local Kmart record department. While you're searching for that writing paraphernalia, Here's last week's number one record. It's by Bruce Hornsby and the Range, The Way It Is. That was the number one record in America last week, The Way It Is, by Bruce Hornsby and the Range. But will Bruce ride the Range on top for a second week in a row, or will he be toppled by such strong challengers as Benjamin Orr, Rick Ocasek, and Billy Ocean? We'll hear how it all shapes up together as we lead off this week's National Music Survey at number 25. It's the second single from Chicago's 18th album, imaginatively titled Chicago 18. The first release was a slowed-down remake of their 1970 hit, 25 or 6 to 4. But they play this one at the proper speed. Chicago, will you still love me? That's the first of this week's two new entries, Will You Still Love Me? by Chicago. It enters at number 25. You're listening to the National Music Survey. I'm Charlie Tuna. And that record proves that, for Chicago, there really is life after Peter Cetera. Amy Grant makes that same discovery on this week's second debut song. After reaching number one with Peter on Next Time I Fall three weeks ago, she ventures out on her own at number 24 with Stay for a While. <laughs> Amy Grant, premiering at number 24, with Stay for a While. Richard Nixon and Spiro Agnew mount a wildlife expedition as we blast 17 years into the past for our big show of the week. Coming up on the National Music Survey, I'm Charlie Tuna. The National Music Survey. When you know what you want and you want it for less, come to the music place at Kmart. Tina Turner's new capital release, Break Every Rule, is on sale now. Just $6.96 for the album or cassette. All I want is a And while you're at Kmart, don't forget to enter the New Year's Eve in London sweepstakes. No purchase necessary, but hurry. Sale and sweepstakes end December 9th at Kmart, America's favorite store. What's that you're shaving with? A Norelco. Looks terrific. Well, it is America's leading electric. It's guaranteed and shaves as close as a blade. Feel. Mm. Wow. It's their patented system that lifts each whisker up and shaves it off blade close. Even without a cord. Yep, it's rechargeable. I could shave anywhere. Does Norelco have them for women, too? Yeah, I'll even get you one. I love it. His and her Norelcos. Then we can both shave anywhere. How about Hawaii? Norelco. We put quality first. See store clerk about guarantee and two-year warranty. Look at your watch. If your nose were stuck right this minute and you sprayed it with Duration Nasal Spray, it would already be going to work on your congestion. No other nasal spray starts to work faster. And Duration Relief continues for up to 12 hours with the longest-lasting nasal decongestant you can buy. The one doctors recommend most. So if you want a nasal spray that works fast and long, it's time to buy Duration. Duration Nasal Spray. Use only as directed. Hi, this is Smokey Robinson, and you're listening to the Westwood One Radio Network. And we're back. I'm Charlie Tuna, and with the Beach Boys back on the charts, a lot of folks have been wondering what their founder and resident eccentric, Brian Wilson, has been up to. You'll recall that back in the 60s, Brian achieved notoriety for installing a beachfront sandbox in his living room. After that, he spent a few years in bed. 
Well, Brian Wilson is up now, and he's working on a solo album. And we hear it'll include a song written by Tom Kelly, who co-wrote Like a Virgin for Madonna. Meanwhile, the rest of the Beach Boys are at number 23 this week with California Dreaming. Slipping seven notches to number 23 on our survey this week, California Dreaming by the Beach Boys. Time once more to go forward into our past to the final weekend of November 1969. That's when David Bowie and Dusty Springfield joined forces for a benefit concert in London to save Rave, a British pop magazine. It was a terrific show, but when was the last time you saw a copy of Rave on the newsstand? Over on this side of the pond, the Rolling Stones were recording their Madison Square Garden concerts for an album, Get Your Yayas Out. President Nixon, Vice President Agnew, and 40 governors were getting their yayas out down in Washington that week. They'd embarked upon a magical mystery tour to the center of their minds. Their mission, the study of hippies. The crew viewed movies of simulated acid trips and grooved on anti-establishment rock music. Maybe they even listened to this track from an album that went gold 17 years ago this week. Santana, Evil Ways. Santana, with a cut from their debut album, which went gold during the final weekend of November 1969, Evil Ways. You're on the National Music Survey with me, Charlie Tuna. You know, success has its rewards. For one thing, you don't have to present two pieces of ID whenever you write a check. But according to Carly Simon, success also has its drawbacks. When you have you know, like a modicum of success, people who wouldn't ordinarily be hanging around you start to hang around you. And because you can't accommodate everybody, you start having to be a little bit more aloof than perhaps you otherwise had been. I mean, this happens to everybody, and whether you're a nice person or not a nice person, you can't deal with all the input. You can't deal with putting out as much as people want you to, and so therefore you have to change your attitude a little bit and be, you know, more religious about your time. Carly Simon, fading five to number 22, with Coming Around Again. Is Howard Hewitt really for real? He says yes, plus we'll present part one of our very special profile of Bette Midler. Coming up, I'm Charlie Tuna. The National Music Survey. Now is a good moment to sit back and listen to the music of moments. Having my baby, what a lovely way. Teledisc presents Moments, 24 beautiful love songs, great hits by the Commodores, America, Jim Croce, 24 original recordings mastered directly from studio tapes for best quality sound. Moments, more than 80 minutes of music on two records or long play cassette. Only fourteen ninety five plus shipping. To order, call one eight hundred five four three eight eight hundred. Credit cards accepted. Satisfaction guaranteed. Enjoy these moments again. Call one eight hundred five four three eight eight hundred. Call now for moments you'll never forget. It's Honda holidays time at your Honda motorcycle, ATV, or scooter dealer. Come on in and dip into the holiday grab bag for a free gift. One gift per visit while they last. See the 86 Hondas with Honda Holidays discounts on selected motorcycles, ATVs, and scooters. And don't forget Honda gift certificates. Come to Honda Holidays at your participating Honda dealer today. Licensed driver 16 and older. No purchase necessary. Void for prohibited. I'm Charlie Tuna, and OMD's new album has nothing to do with the Pacific Ocean, even though it is titled The Pacific Age. Instead, Pacific refers to peace and tranquility, a counterpoint to what singer Andy McCluskey calls a fast, furious, and fear-ridden era. Their number 21 record seems Pacific on both sides of the Atlantic. OMD, forever live and die. Moving up three spaces to number 21, Forever Live and Die by OMD. The National Music Survey. Bette Midler's birthdays haven't always been riotous affairs. For instance, she celebrated her 30th birthday undergoing an emergency appendectomy. And this year, she's coping with motherhood. She just recently gave birth to an 8-pound, 11-ounce daughter. So we thought we'd brighten Bette's 41st birthday with a special salute on the National Music Survey. She was born in Patterson, New Jersey on December 1st, 1945, but she was raised in Hawaii. 
And while Beth professes uncertainty over why she's in showbiz, it may be in her blood. You see, her mother named her after Betty Davis. I actually don't have any idea how come I wound up in show business. I don't know. I always sang. And I remember when I was in the first grade, I sang Silent Night, and they liked the way I sang. And I remember in the sixth grade, I won a little talent contest singing uh, the lullaby of Broadway, of all things. They liked me when I sang, and it was a reason to keep singing. Mary Manilow is somewhere in the background on that track by Bette Midler. It was her first top ten hit, Boogie Woogie Bugle Boy, from 1973. Bette will be back in an hour with a travel tip on how you get from Wacky Key to Broadway. I'm Charlie Tuna, and you're on the National Music Survey. You know, few of us have ever had to face that moment of truth, where we must decide whether we're genuine or just a fraud. But not long ago, Howard Hewitt was confronted with just such a decision, and he passed with flying colors. I'm for real was taken strictly from a conversation that I was having with my wife over the phone. She was out of town at the time, and I was in L.A., here in L.A., and I was working on some stuff at my board, you know, in, in the living room. I got all my junk all over the living room and stuff. And uh, she called, and we were talking, and she said, you know, I just want to always, you know, know that you're going to love me, you know, know that you're always going to be there for me. That was before we got married. And I told her, I said I, the exact words. I said, hey, baby, I'm for real. I'm serious. <laughs> Holding steady at number 20 for the second week in a row, I'm For Real by Howard Hewitt. Coming up, we'll hear why the drifters didn't stand by Benny King and learn how Anita Baker managed to trim her legal fees. I'm Charlie Tuna. And have you got your paper and pencil ready? Because Polaroid and the National Music Survey want to send you a Polaroid for the holidays. The Polaroid Sun 600 LMS Instant Camera. It's perfect for capturing those special holiday moments. For your chance to win, just send your name and address on a postcard to Polaroid for the Holidays, P.O. Box 1986, Culver City, California, 90232. That's P.O. Box 1986, Culver City, California, 90232. The National Music Polaroid is about to make you two offers you can't refuse. The new Instant Value Kits, featuring the Polaroid 600 LMS and Sun 660 autofocus cameras. Depending on which you buy, you can get up to two free packs of film and coupons worth up to $30 off Polaroid film, video cassettes, and copy service. Supplies won't last long, so check out the new Instant Value Kits at your authorized Polaroid dealer. The question isn't whether to buy one, it's which one to buy. country, people are practicing their British accents. Crumpet with your tea, y'all. Because the grand prize of Kmart's New Year's Eve in London sweepstakes is four trips for two to London. Jolly good old chap, I say. Including tickets to the annual New Year's Eve concert. Pip, pip, cheerio. Plus, there are hundreds of second and third prizes. No purchase necessary, void were prohibited. Entries must be in by December 9th. Details and entry forms are at Kmart, America's favorite store. Right. Hi, I'm Howard Hewitt. And you're listening to the Westwood One Radio Network. The National Music Survey. Welcome back. I'm Charlie Tuna. And amazingly, Stand By Me was almost never recorded. Back in 1959 and 1960, Ben E. King sang lead on such classic drifter songs as There Goes My Baby and Save the Last Dance for Me. But when he wrote Stand By Me for the Drifters, they balked. Looking back now, Ben says, if there was any sadness in my voice, I think I was hurt by the fact they didn't record it. His own recording went to the top five in 1961, and it's headed in that direction in 1986 as well. At number 19, Ben E. King, Stand By Me. Rising three spots to number 19, Stand By Me by Ben E. King. You know, when Anita Baker was offered her first solo recording contract, she was pulling down ten grand a year as a receptionist. Obviously, she couldn't afford high-priced legal advice, but 
Luckily, she was working in a law office, so her employers graciously checked out the contract for her and even helped her get a tidy advance. Anita Baker advances tidily to number 18 this week with Caught Up in the Rapture. Surging five notches to number 18 in her second week, Caught Up in the Rapture by Anita Baker. We'll be right back after a short break with our number two of the National Music Survey. Peter Cetera will build up his confidence, and we'll hear what happened when Kenny Rogers stopped pressuring himself. All that plus more of our very special profile of Bette Midler heading your way. So stay with us. I'm Charlie Tuna. The National Music for less, come to the music place at Kmart. Just like the first time, Freddie Jackson's new Capitol release is now on sale for just $5.96 for the album or cassette. And while you're at Kmart, don't forget to enter the New Year's Eve in London sweepstakes. No purchase necessary, but hurry, sale and sweepstakes end December 9th at Kmart, America's favorite store. What's that you're shaving with? A Norelco. Looks terrific. Well, it is America's leading electric. It's guaranteed and shaves as close as a blade. Feel. Mm. Wow. It's their patented system. It lifts each whisker up and shaves it off blade close. Even without a cord? Yep, it's rechargeable. I could shave anywhere. Does Norelco have them for women, too? Yeah, I'll even get you one. I love it. His and her Norelcos. Then we can both shave anywhere. How about Hawaii? Norelco. We put quality first. See store clerk about guarantee and two-year warranty. Hi, I'm Charlie Tuna, and welcome to our number two of the National Music Survey. We're counting down the 25 biggest hits of this week, the week ending November 29th, 1986, as reported by Radio and Records. This hour, we'll visit with Kenny Rogers and Peter Cetera, and we'll present part two of our special profile of Bette Midler, as she expounds upon why she always felt Broadway-bound. Now, before the break, we heard this week's number 18 record, Caught Up in the Rapture by Anita Baker. So let's pick it right back up at number 17 with Linda Ronstadt and James Ingram, Somewhere Out There. Somewhere Hopping up a pair to number 17, Somewhere Out There by Linda Ronstadt and James Ingram. You know, Toto says that whenever they hear this week's number 16 record, they still get goosebumps. Frankly, I've got to agree with them. Toto, I'll be over you. Some people... That was a former number one song for Toto. This week, it's number 16, I'll Be Over You. I'm Charlie Tuna, and when you're starting out in the entertainment business, you're driven to make it by your friends, your family, yourself. But when Kenny Rogers found himself in that predicament, he did just the opposite and relieved the pressure. It's funny how when you take the pressure off of something, it's so much easier to get. That the moment success was not the most important thing in the world to me, money was not the most important thing in the world to me, it came to me. They... Clocking in at number 15, Kenny Rogers. They don't make him like they used to. Well, lace up your samba shoes because we're off to Brazil. Next, I'm Charlie Tuna. The National Music Survey. It's Diamond Jim, one of the world's richest men, here for the Whirlpool Appliance Diamond Anniversary Sale. Show me the gems. Right here. Dazzling savings on selected Whirlpool dishwashers, refrigerators, washers. This price is cut exquisitely. And enter to win a seven and a half carat diamond in the Whirlpool Diamond Anniversary Sweepstakes. But hurry. Why? Diamonds are forever. But this Whirlpool Appliance Sale isn't. See your participating Whirlpool dealer now. Sweepstakes ends December 31st. Must be 18. No purchase necessary. Void or prohibited. Along with great gift items, your participating Value Right Pharmacy is featuring a special on Plusmark gift wrap. Just 99 cents for a roll of 40 square feet. Also on sale, Christmas cards. A box of 25 for just 3 dollars 
For gift wrap and Christmas cards, it's Value Right. Find it right, find it right at Value Right, Value Right. Check the yellow pages for your nearest Value Right pharmacy. Across the country, people are practicing their British accents. Crumpets with the tea, y'all. Because the grand prize of Kmart's New Year's Eve in London sweepstakes is four trips for two to London. Jolly good old chap, I say. Including tickets to the annual New Year's Eve concert. Pip, pip, cheerio. Plus, there are hundreds of second and third prizes. No purchase necessary, void were prohibited. Entries must be in by December 9th. Details and entry forms are at Kmart, America's favorite store. Right. Hi, I'm Daryl Hall on the Westwood One Radio Network. Welcome back. This is Charlie Tuna, and we've cooked up a little tribute to the sounds of Brazil for you. Let's get it going with Sergio Mendez and Brazil 86. They're at number 14 this week with Take This Love. Inching up a notch to number 14, Take This Love by Sergio Mendez and Brazil 86. You know, it's been a couple of years since we last heard from Sergio. However, he is one of Brazil's more consistent artists on the American charts. One of that nation's first performers to hit the survey was Astrid Gilberto, who teamed up with Stan Getz in 1964 on The Girl from Ipanema. A year earlier, Edie Gourmet made a bold attempt to capture the Brazilian beat with Blame It on the Bossa Nova, but that doesn't count. During the 70s, Brazil's hottest artist in the U.S. was a Rio native, who first came to this country in 1969 to study language phonology at Columbia University. After returning home in the early 70s, he began writing his own tunes. One of them went to number one throughout Central and South America and went gold in North America. From Morris Albert, Feelings. That was a million seller for Brazil's Morris Albert back in 1975. Feelings. You're on the National Music Survey with me, Charlie Tuna. You know, Daryl Hall is an easygoing kind of guy, until someone taunts him that Hall and Oates look like a one-man show. But Daryl claims his old partner, John Oates, was an equal collaborator, who usually came up with the choruses that made their songs hits. But Daryl did a fine job coming up with the chorus for this one. At number 13, here's Foolish Pride. Must be hard to feel foolish when you sound that soulful. Daryl Hall crawling up a step to number 13 with Foolish Pride. I'm Charlie Tuna, and coming right up, more of our very special profile of Bette Midler. Also, have a paper and pencil handy, because in a few moments, we're going to tell you how you can win a Polaroid Sun 600 LMS instant camera for the holidays. From Polaroid and... The National Music Survey. Such a sensation, in its Shaves it off blade close. Even without a cord? Yep, it's rechargeable. I could shave anywhere. Does Norelco have them for women, too? Yeah, I'll even get you one. I love it. His and her Norelco. Then we can both shave anywhere. How about Hawaii? Norelco. We put quality first. See store clerk about guarantee and two-year warranty. It's Honda Holidays time at your Honda motorcycle, ATV, or scooter dealer. Come on in and dip into the holiday grab bag for a free gift. One gift per visit while they last. See the 86 Hondas with Honda Holidays discounts on selected motorcycles, ATVs, and scooters. And don't forget Honda gift certificates. Come to Honda Holidays at your participating Honda dealer today. Licensed driver 16 and older. No purchase necessary. Void were prohibited. I'm Charlie Tuna, and I've always been fascinated with the way artists work. Billy Joel, for instance, gets ideas all the time, but only finishes 10 or 11 songs a year. He'll jot a thought down in a notebook, lets it marinate for about six months, and then if he still likes it, he'll develop it into a tune. This one obviously passed the Billy Joel taste test. It's number 12. This is the time. Hiking nine notches to number 12, and only its second week on the survey, This is the Time by Billy Joel. 
This week, we're helping Bette Midler celebrate her 41st birthday and her new baby daughter with a special profile. Earlier, Bette told us she has no idea why she's in show business, and yet she always knew she was meant to be a performer. That can present quite a challenge when you're a Jewish girl from New Jersey growing up in Hawaii. For one thing, hula songs are totally out of the question. We were probably the last people on the island to get a TV set around 1959 or something like that. And I remember watching those old movies and thinking, well, I could do that. And the ones that I liked the best were the real serious ones. And um, I was convinced that there was a place for me on the Broadway stage. So I set my sights for the Broadway stage. And all through high school and my first year of college, that's what I was aiming for. I declared a major my first year, which was ridiculous because... You're supposed to wait till you've been around a little bit to decide what you want to do, but I knew right away. So Bette hightailed it to Broadway, where she discovered New York isn't a lonely town when you're the only surfer girl around. I was convinced I wouldn't have any problems. I was going to, don't worry, I'm going to do everything right. I'm going to save the American theater. It's my fate. My will was so strong that it didn't occur to me that I could fail. Bette Midler with The Rose, from her Academy Award-nominated movie of the same name. It was a million seller back in 1980. We'll wrap up our tribute to Bet in an hour as she reveals how she maintains her balance. I'm Charlie Tuna on the National Music Survey, and Boston is at number 11 this week with Amanda. Up one from 12 to 11, Amanda by Boston. Peter Cetera didn't always have the self-confident swagger of a superstar. He'll tell us how he gave his morale a boost. That's coming up. I'm Charlie Tuna. The National Music Survey. Polaroid is about to make you two offers you can't refuse. The new Instant Value Kits, featuring the Polaroid 600 LMS and Sun 660 autofocus cameras. Depending on which you buy, you can get up to two free packs of film and coupons worth up to $30 off Polaroid film, video cassettes, and copy service. Supplies won't last long, so check out the new Instant Value Kits at your authorized Polaroid dealer. The question isn't whether to buy one, it's which one to buy. Turn down the lights, curl up with someone you love. And listen to the music of moments. Teledisc presents Moments, 24 of your favorite love songs. Rita Coolidge, Nilsson, Jim Croce, Mac Davis. Girl, you give me that look in your eyes. 24 original recordings mastered directly from studio tapes, only from Teledisc and not in any store. Moments, more than 80 minutes of music on two records or long play cassette, only $14.95 plus shipping. Call 1 800 543 8800. It's a little bit funny. Credit cards accepted, satisfaction guaranteed. Enjoy these moments again. Call 1 800 543 8800. Welcome back. I'm Charlie Tuna. And Shake You Down isn't Gregory Abbott's first album. Back when he was eight, he sang in New York's St. Patrick's Cathedral Choir, and they recorded an album. So to be accurate, our number 10 song is from Gregory Abbott's first solo album, Shake You Down. The song may be titled Shake You Down, but Gregory Abbott shakes his way up three rungs to number 10 this week on our National Music Survey. You'd think that after all those years playing bass and selling millions of records with Chicago, Peter Cetera would be about the most arrogant guy on his block. But in truth, Peter has only recently recovered from a severe case of no confidence. I was convinced for years that I, you know, I, geez, I, I'll just never be a great singer and a great bass player and a great songwriter and a great performer, and, I, and I'll just stand over to the side of the stage and, you know, drink beer and chew gum and sing every once in a while, and little by little, when I started to uh, realize, hey, yeah, okay, geez, you know, I, I can do this, you know, and, and started stepping out a little bit more and writing more and, you know, and blah, 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 it, it started to become fun. He's been having fun with Amy Grant recently. They're at number nine this week with Next Time I Fall. 
Edging back three to number nine. Next Time I Fall by Peter Cetera and Amy Grant. We'll be right back after a brief break with the third and final hour of the National Music Survey. Rick Ocasek will tell us who laughs at his jokes. And Bruce Hornsby will reveal why the way it is is the way it is. All that plus the conclusion of our salute to Bette Midler. A thriller of a trivia question plus this week's number one record. And keep listening because we're going to tell you how you can win a trip to London this coming New Year's week courtesy of your local Kmart record department. So stick around. I'm Charlie Tuna. The National Music Survey. When you know what you want and you want it for less, come to the music place at Kmart. Huey Lewis and the new Smash album from Christmas Records 4 is on sale now for just $6.96. Album 4 cassette. And while you're at Kmart, don't forget to enter the New Year's Eve in London sweepstakes. No purchase necessary, but hurry. Sale and sweepstakes end December 9th at Kmart, America's favorite store. What's that you're shaving with? A Norelco. Looks terrific. Well, it is America's leading electric. It's guaranteed and shaves as close as a blade. Feel. Mm. Wow. It's their patented system that lifts each whisker up and shaves it off blade close. Even without a cord? Yep, it's rechargeable. I could shave anywhere. Does Norelco have them for women, too? Yeah, I'll even get you one. I love it. His and her Norelcos. Then we can both shave anywhere. How about Hawaii? Norelco. We put quality first. See store clerk about guarantee and two-year warranty. Look at your watch. If your nose were stuffed right this minute and you sprayed it with Duration Nasal Spray, it would already be going to work on your congestion. No other nasal spray starts to work faster. And Duration Relief continues for up to 12 hours with the longest-lasting nasal decongestant you can buy. The one doctors recommend most. So if you want a nasal spray that works fast and long, it's time to buy Duration. Duration Nasal Spray. Use only as directed. Hi, this is Peter Cetera, and you're listening to the Westwood One Radio Network. The National Music Survey. Hi, I'm Charlie Tuna, and welcome to the third and final hour of the National Music Survey. We're drawing closer to the number one song for this week, the week ending November 29th, 1986, as reported by Radio and Records. This hour, we'll chat with Bruce Hornsby and Rick Ocasek. Also, we'll wind up our very special Bette Midler profile, as well as bewilder your mind with a trivia question about the world's most successful album. Also, have a pencil and paper handy, because in a few moments, we're going to tell you how you can win a Polaroid Sun 600 LMS instant camera for the holidays from Polaroid and the National Music Survey. Now, right before our last time out, we heard this week's number nine song, Next Time I Fall, by Peter Cetera and Amy Grant. That brings us up to number eight and the Miami Sound Machine. They're falling in love. The Miami Sound Machine on the National Music Survey, springing up a notch to number eight with Falling in Love. Chances are, none of your friends is named Madonna. Well, even Madonna herself admits hers is an uncommon name. But she also believes people are given special names for special reasons. Says she, in a way, maybe I wanted to live up to my name. This week, Madonna is living up to number seven with True Blue. Waning three spots to number seven, True Blue by Madonna. Sure, Bruce Springsteen is selling stacks of his live concert album, but will it be enough for him to wind up as a trivia question on the National Music Survey? Good question, because this week, your trivia challenge concerns an album which was released four years ago this Monday, December 1st, 1982. It holds four records. Name the album, the artist, and the records. I'm Charlie Tuna, and I'll thrill you with the answer. Plus, we'll meet Rick Ocasek when we continue. When the memory of a moment has been captured in a song, that's the music of moments. Hello, yeah, it's been a while, not much. How about you? Teledisc presents Moments, 24 of the most beautiful love songs. Elton John, Rita Coolidge, Paul Anka, Lou Rawls. You'll never find. 24 original recordings by original artists, only from Teledisc and not in any store. 
Moments, more than 80 minutes of music on two records or long play cassette, only $14.95 plus shipping. Call 1-800-543-8800. Credit cards accepted, satisfaction guaranteed. Enjoy these moments again. Call 1-800-543-8800. Across the country, people are practicing their British accents. Crumpet with your tea, y'all. Because the grand prize of Kmart's New Year's Eve in London sweepstakes is four trips for two to London. Jolly good, old chap, I say. Including tickets to the annual New Year's Eve concert. Hip, hip. Cheerio. Plus, there are hundreds of second and third prizes. No purchase necessary. Void were prohibited. Entries must be in by December 9th. Details and entry forms are at Kmart, America's favorite store. Right. Hi there, this is Benny King, and you're listening to the Westwood One Radio Network. And we're back. I'm Charlie Tuna. And if Benjamin Orr ever invites you over for dinner, it might be wise to bring along the bromo. Seems Ben is a gourmet chef, but his taste runs towards the exotic. He relishes fiery, spicy cuisine, such as Indian, Thai, and Szechuan. In fact, when Ben goes to Hawaii, he scours local supermarkets in hot pursuit of native peppers. He's also spicing up our survey this week. At number six, Benjamin Orr, stay the night. You don't even need to RSVP. Benjamin Orr, sprinting to fair to number six with Stay the Night. Well, have you deciphered this week's trivia question yet? It was about the record-shattering record released four years ago this week. The LP has sold well over 40 million copies. It remained at number one for nearly nine months, and it yielded seven top ten singles. Here's one of them from the best-selling album of all time, Thriller, Michael Jackson, and Human Nature. Four years ago this week, Michael Jackson released Thriller, and it went on to become the best-selling album of all time. That was one of the number one singles from that LP, Human Nature. I'm Charlie Tuna, and I sincerely doubt if anyone would mistake Rick Ocasek for the life of the party. He's a sinister-looking guy, customarily clad in black. Now, if this assessment seems overly bleak, don't worry. Rick would be the first to agree. My outlook is never really fully positive. Um, but I don't think it's, like, really terribly down either. I just think it's almost comical look, you know, at a lot of things. For me, <laughs> my own comedy, I laugh at my own jokes. But this week's number five song is no joke. Rick Ocasek, Emotion in Motion. Rising a couple notches from seven to five, Emotion in Motion by Rick Ocasek. When we come back, the conclusion of our profile of the Divine Miss M, as we expose the two faces of Bet. I'm Charlie Tuna, and Polaroid and the National Music Survey want to send you a Polaroid for the holidays. The Polaroid Sun 600 LMS Instant Camera is perfect for capturing those special holiday moments. For your chance to win, just send your name and address on a postcard to Polaroid for the Holidays, P.O. Box 1986, Culver City, California, 90232. That's P.O. Box 1986, Culver City, California, 90232. Polaroid is about to make you two offers you can't refuse. The new Instant Value Kits, featuring the Polaroid 600 LMS and Sun 660 autofocus cameras. Depending on which you buy, you can get up to two free packs of film and coupons worth up to $30 off Polaroid film, video cassettes, and copy service. Supplies won't last long, so check out the new Instant Value Kits at your authorized Polaroid dealer. The question isn't whether to buy one. It's which one to buy. What's that you're shaving with? A Norelco. Looks terrific. Well, it is America's leading electric. It's guaranteed and shaves as close as a blade. Feel. Mm. Wow. It's their patented system. It lifts each whisker up and shaves it off blade close. Even without a cord? Yep, it's rechargeable. I can shave anywhere. Does Norelco have them for women, too? Yeah, I'll even get you one. I love it. His and her Norelco. Then we can both shave anywhere. How about Hawaii? Norelco. We put quality first. See store clerk about guarantee and two-year warranty. Aren't you glad to know you be your best today? Aren't you glad there's dial to make you feel that way? Aren't you glad to know you got it? That confidence and style. Aren't you glad you use dial? Aren't you glad you use dial? Aren't you glad? Aren't you 
I'm Charlie Tuna, and among the Human League's assets, aside from their inspired synthesizer work, are their two female vocalists, Suzanne Sully and Joanne Catherall. League leader Philip Oakey discovered the pair working in a Sheffield, England discotheque. He originally hired them as dancers, but it soon became apparent that they could sing. They can also talk, as they demonstrate on our number four record this week, The Human League, Human. Easing down one from three to four this week. Human by the Human League. The National Music During our special profile of Bette Midler, she's shown us a side the public rarely sees. After all, she's usually the bombastic and outrageous divine Miss M. And yet, during our conversation, she's been sensitive and serious. Does this mean Bette has suddenly gone straight? Heavens no. She's merely maintaining her equilibrium. But I always had a balance because basically I am a kind of a serious person. And I always tried to balance out the real outrageousness and the real camp with the other side of the coin, which is the difficulty of life, which is the blues, which is sorrow and sadness and aging and friendlessness and loneliness. I've always had that mixture in my act. Do you want it? Bette Midler saving her last birthday dance for us with Do You Want to Dance from 1973. And our thanks to Bette for being our special guest this week on the National Music Survey. Up next, this week's library report. I'm Charlie Tuna, and keep listening because we're going to tell you how you can win a trip to London this coming New Year's week, courtesy of your local Kmart record department. The National Music Survey. When you know what you want and you want it for less, come to the music place at Kmart. Right now, get Billy Idol's latest Chrysalis Records release, Whiplash Smile, on sale for only six ninety six for the album Pork Cassette. And while you're at Kmart, don't forget to enter the New Year's Eve in London sweepstakes. No purchase necessary, but hurry, sale and sweepstakes end December 9th at Kmart, America's favorite store. Your days go by fast. Your work never seems to end. My dishwasher's so noisy. That's why Whirlpool proudly announces the end of the noisy dishwasher. Our latest Power Clean Energy Saver model is remarkably quiet and yet gets dishes remarkably clean. Whirlpool dishwashers. We're making your world a little easier. I like the sound of that. Whirlpool makes it easier for you. It's Honda Holidays time at your Honda Motorcycle, ATV, or Scooter dealer. Come on in and dip into the Holiday Grab Bag for a free gift. One gift per visit while they last. See the 86 Hondas with Honda Holidays discounts on selected motorcycles, ATVs, and scooters. And don't forget Honda gift certificates. Come to Honda Holidays at your participating Honda dealer today. Licensed driver, 16 and older. No purchase necessary. Void where prohibited. Hi, this is Gloria Loring, and you're listening to the Westwood One Radio Network. Welcome back. I'm Charlie Tuna, along with Lionel Richie and this week's number three song, Love Will Conquer All. Lionel Richie settling down his face to number three this week with Love Will Conquer All. Earlier, we told you how Billy Joel goes about writing a song. Well, another Billy, Billy Ocean, takes a far different approach. Rather than sketch out an idea and return to it later, Billy prefers to compose nonstop around the clock. That system serves him well because this week, Billy Ocean rises three to number two with Love is Forever. That's this week's number two song, Love is Forever by Billy Ocean. I'm Charlie Tuna, and apparently a lot of us are in need of good advice. So before we get to this week's number one song, let's quickly count down this week's top five how-to books. Brand new at number five is Be Happy You Are Loved by California clergyman Robert Schuller. That's followed by three food volumes. Fit for Life, The Frugal Gourmet Cooks with Wine, hopefully not Thunderbird, and The Rotation Diet by B.F. Goodrich. Just kidding. And this week's best-selling advice book is a guide to coping with authoritarian, despotic, and oppressive men men who hate women, and the women who love them. 
The number one record on the National Music Survey a year ago this week was by a man who clearly loves women, Lionel Richie. Say you, say me. Say you. Lionel Richie with a song that was number one on the National Music Survey during the final weekend of November 1985. Say You, Say Me. Coming right up, the number one record in America. It's by an artist who says the status quo has got to go. I'm Charlie Tuna. The National Music Survey. Now's a good moment to sit back and listen to the music of moments. What a lovely way of saying how much you love me. Teledisc presents Moments, 24 beautiful love songs. Great hits by the Commodores, America, Jim Croce. Like 24 original recordings mastered directly from studio tapes for best quality sound. than 80 minutes of music on two records or long play cassette. Only $14.95 plus shipping. To order, call 1-800-543-8800. Credit cards accepted, satisfaction guaranteed. Enjoy these moments again. Call 1-800-543-8800. Call now for moments you'll never forget. When you know what you want and you want it for less, come to the music place at Kmart. Boston's new MCA release, Third Stage, is now on sale for just six ninety six for the album or cassette. I'm gonna take you by surprise and make you realize the And while you're at Kmart. Don't forget to enter the New Year's Eve in London sweepstakes. No purchase necessary, but hurry. Sale and sweepstakes end December 9th at Kmart, America's favorite store. <laughs> I'm Charlie Tuna with the number one record in America. It's by a man who believes the way it is isn't necessarily the way it ought to be. Bruce Hornsby. Well, it's just saying that, uh, you know, don't believe that this is the way it has to be. Don't believe that because, uh, you know, that's the status quo and that's what a lot of people they try to perpetuate that. You know, try to kind of say keep, the, keep them down. Uh, but the song's basically saying, uh, you know, that's not the way it has to be. Maybe the way it is in certain uh, instances, but it shouldn't be that way. It doesn't have to be that way. But sometimes it does, because this week, Bruce Hornsby and the Range are at number one for the second consecutive week. And that's the way it is. Some things will never change. Firmly planted at number one for the second week in a row. The Way It Is by Bruce Hornsby and The Range. The National Music Survey is written by Alan Goldblatt. Production coordination by Patricia Carroll and Robert Young. And engineered by Fred Lindgren. Executive producer, Norm Pattis. Plan to be with us again next weekend as we count down the 25 biggest hits of the week. And we'll have a very special profile of a man who follows a simple motto in life, Michael McDonald. I have a little saying with myself, is when I start thinking, I get in trouble. You know. That's Michael McDonald, next week on the National Music Survey. Until then, I'm Charlie Tuna. Thanks for listening. Yeah.